finish full tile. We'll have to finish. Uh, no. Good afternoon. My name is Emilia Cizzetti, and I've been wearing glasses since I was six years old. I have what is called high myopia, also known as severe nearsightedness, meaning I can't see faraway objects. In fact, if I'm not wearing my glasses, I have to be this close to an object to see it clearly. Otherwise, everything is blurry. Here are a couple of images of how I see and other nearsighted people see without glasses. So know that when you hold up two fingers and ask if we're able to see them, we can. We just can't see the details of your fingers. To correct my vision, I use contact lenses and eyeglasses. The technological innovation I'll speak of today are one of the vision aids I use, contact lenses. These are an ocular prosthetic device that are used to correct vision or for cosmetic reasons, such as changing your eye color. Today I will focus on corrective contact lenses. These have had a significant impact on my life and I'm sure many others. In the number of people with nearsightedness has increased drastically in recent decades. According to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, the cases of myopia has increased from 25% to 40% since the early 1970s in the United States alone. We don't actually, although we don't know the exact cause of myopia, we are aware that genes and the environment play a significant role in its forthcoming. There has been a potential correlation between the usage of technology and the levels of myopia in people. Therefore, we can conclude that the advancement of technology and has played a role in this myopia epidemic. The innovation of contact lenses in thank, during this progress of medicine and technology and in the wake of this myopia epidemic has allowed people to live more comfortable lives. Eyeglasses have been around for centuries, but as many things do, they have their limitations. Eyeglasses can be inconvenient and uncomfortable. I personally highly dislike my glasses. Firstly, they're the most inconvenient and annoying accessory. They would constantly slide down my nose and I would have to repeatedly push them up, even more so when I would sweat. And when they would slide down, I would see worse because the lenses weren't as close to my eyes anymore. Secondly, they were the most annoying accessory when playing sports or doing any outdoor activity. They would constantly shake up and down and slide down my nose again. Furthermore, I had the incessant fear of getting hit in the face with a football whilst wearing my glasses and my glasses breaking and shards of glass going into my eyes. Luckily, that has never happened. The glass shards going into my eyes, I mean. I have been hit in the face with a football whilst wearing glasses countless of times. In addition to that, my glasses, my lenses are so thick now due to my high prescription, I doubt they could ever break. Another major reason for why I dislike my glasses with a burning passion is that they make me feel ugly. However, I don't remember ever being bullied for wearing glasses. In fact, I only ever heard the phrase four eyes when I moved to Azerbaijan, which was after I had worn glasses for over two years, and I never received the label as an insult. Furthermore, I could never wrap my head around how that phrase was coined. I mean, how do you think I have four eyes? Wearing glasses still shows I have two eyes. Regardless, I was still incredibly insecure about wearing glasses. I didn't like getting my pictures taken. I didn't like looking in the mirror. Society has conditioned us to think subtly that people who wear glasses are ugly or nerdy in a bad way. In most high school rom-coms, the stereotypical main character is a nerdy nobody that has glasses and no she no nobody likes her. Not the love interest doesn't even know she exists. Then one day, she gets a massive makeover, which isn't that massive, but she takes off her glasses. And that's the moment that filmmakers want to emphasize on. It's the moment where they expect you to go, wow, she's so gorgeous. And then boom, she gets the love interest. Another example is Katy Perry's iconic music video for Last Friday Night, in which she also is a nerdy nobody and gets a massive makeover, takes off her glasses, and now is the star of the party. So you can imagine my bewilderment when I would hear people saying that they want glasses because they look cute. Even more so 
when I heard that glasses became trendy, I would see people buying glasses to make their outfit look cuter. Or I would hear people yearning to wear glasses. However, my insecurities didn't waver. Thus, when I learned that I was allowed to wear contact lenses, I was ecstatic. At the age of 10, I wore contact lenses for the first time. It was a daunting experience. Although I had worn glasses for four years by then, and I was used to doctors poking at my eyes, putting a contact lens in my eye was still unnerving. For the first few years, my mom would place them in my eye until I gained the courage and confidence to do so myself. I was overjoyed. I was seeing clearer than ever before. Contact lenses naturally provide better vision than eyeglasses, as well as better peripheral vision, as they're placed right on the cornea, which is this part of the eye. Due to the fact that they're placed right on the cornea, they must be of a lower prescription than your eyeglasses, typically by 0.5 or 0.25 diopters. Diopters is a unit of measurement for the optical power of a lens. For example, on my left eye, I have a prescription of minus seven diopters. Meanwhile, my contact lens is minus 6.5. Contact lenses have allowed me to perform outdoor activities more, with more ease and gain confidence in my appearance. Now I'm able to play sports to my full ability without the need of slowing down or stopping to, ch to fix my glasses. However, as many things do, contact lenses also have their limitations, and wearing them was not the smoothest road. Firstly, sometimes my contact lenses would move, hindering my vision. Secondly, there sometimes was a substance in my eye, causing me discomfort, and the discomfort ranging from mild and tolerable to being so intolerable that I would have to remove my contact lens. <laughs> And to fix, sometimes the discomfort would be caused by my eye being too dry or the lens not being hydrating enough. In situations like those, I would use hydrating eye solutions, such as Optrex and Artelac, both of which I highly recommend to any contact lens user in the crowd. Sadly, sometimes even these drops or re replacing the contact lens would do nothing to improve my hindered vision or eliminate the discomfort I would experience when wearing them. The amount of times I would cry out of frustration when due to this is embarrassing. I didn't want to wear glasses, but I couldn't understand what was wrong with my eyes. Then I realized there is a plethora of brands of contact lenses. Ever wondered why there's so many brands? And no, it's not just because of capitalism. Everybody is unique, personally and biologically. Therefore, everybody's eyes are different. Some people have more dry eyes, others more moist, others bigger, others smaller. One contact lens is not fit for all seven billion of us. So then I came to the conclusion that my eyes weren't the problem, it was the contact lens. In my lifetime, I have tried three different brands of contact lenses, finally finding my soulmate contact lens. Good news for me, technology and medicine are always advancing. New contact lenses are being manufactured every year. And thanks to that, I was able to overcome this problem that I've had with discomfort in my eye due to my contact lens. When I first started wearing contacts, I used Akivu Moist. This is when my troubles began. So then, I listened to my friend and I switched to one that she was using, called BioTrue, which worked for a while, but then also started to cause me discomfort. Alas, I returned to Akivu Moist, who continued to disappoint me. Finally, I discovered a new brand called Akivu Oasis. These fit me like a perfect glove. They weren't drying up and I was seeing clearer than ever before. Be aware that these contact lenses did not exist when I was first having issues with my eyes. They weren't available yet. Sometimes finding the right contact lens for you is challenging, as it was for me. Thankfully, as mentioned before, technology and medicine are always advancing. We're always going to have new options for us. And thus, sometimes you just need to wait, as I did. So to refresh, sorry. So with all that said, I would like to refresh your memory. 
I have introduced how the numbers of people with nearsightedness has increased drastically in past years, as well as the limitations of eyeglasses. Then, I addressed how the introduction of contact lenses has significantly imp impacted my life. Finally, I have discussed my struggles and my relationship with contact lenses and how I was able to overcome them thanks to the innovation of technology and medicine. As much as I've despised my glasses and at times my contact lenses, I am incredibly grateful for having the availability of such devices that allow me to live a comfortable life. I hope that sharing my struggles and relationship with refractive correction devices have allowed those of you with similar struggles to be inspired and discover new ways to overcome them as well. Medicine and technology are constantly evolving. New treatments for illness, chronic illnesses are being devised every year. I, my experience is a grain of sand compared to the numerous other ones, other lives that has been enhanced or saved thanks to the innovation of medicine and technology. I aspire one day to be on the front lines of this, these innovations, to be able to contribute to the research and to be someone who leaves their mark in someone's lives. Thank you.